Cyberpunk has so many different playstyles you can build, but a lot of the perks and leveling systems can be confusing. If you're looking for some solid, strong, and slightly overpowered builds, you've come to the right place. I looked over several different guides for the best builds in Cyberpunk right now and came up with three very different strong builds that will have you decimating your enemies in no time. Here's a quick roundup of three of the best build ideas that you might want to try. As a precursor, with any of these builds, you should always equip double jump legs and arm cannon with trank rounds. I'll also only be listing the essential perks for each build, so be sure to add in your own preferred perks to fill out your personal builds. With that in mind, here are a few builds to look at. The Standard Build. This is also referred to as the solo base build that allows you to stat into multiple categories and evenly unlock perks for a fairly well-rounded build. Think of it like a jack of all trades. I liked using this for a run and gun playstyle. For your attributes, you'll want to focus mainly on body, technical ability, and intelligence. You can utilize technical for increasing defense and allowing crafting, body for infinite sprinting, and intelligence for most general quick hack abilities. For body, you'll also want to make sure you have the following perks in addition to whatever else you'd like to spec out. In athletics, make sure you have marathoner, so sprinting won't drain stamina, regeneration, so your health can slowly regenerate during combat, and true grit, which increases max stamina by 10%. In Annihilation, make sure you select Dead Center, which increases the amount of damage you can deal to an enemy's torso. Really, any perks that increases weapon damage is worth investing in. For the Reflexes attribute, make sure that under Assault, you have Executioner, which helps you deal 25% more damage to an enemy that's higher than half health. Finally, for Technical, make sure you go into Engineering and half the perk can't touch this equipped, since it grants you immunity to all effects from your own grenades. For Cyberware, you'll want to pick up as many defense add-ons as possible. Subdermal plating and fireproof coating are great to have on, as well as Fortified Ankles, which reduces fall damage by 15%. Dinalara San Devastan is another cyber mod you'll want since at level 4, once activated, can increase any damage dealt by 15% and increases crit chance by another 15%. As for weapons, it's really up to you, but I found that pistols have a really strong DPS, so I ran with a revolver for most encounters. The Netrunner this class is perfect for you if you've always wanted to be the master hacker. If you're statted correctly into intelligence and tech, you can take out enemies solely through hacking, which can kind of be funny. For the Netrunner's attributes, you'll focus on intelligence, tech, reflex, and dump the rest of your points into body. When you level intelligence, it reduces the cost and increases the speed you regain RAM for quick hacks. In the Breach Protocol Perks tab, make sure you have Mass Vulnerability, reducing enemies' physical damage resistances for a few minutes, Big Sleep, which lets you disable all cameras on the network for three minutes, Total Recall, reducing costs of quick hacks, an additional one RAM, Total Alert Recall, another reduced one RAM, and Turret Tamer, allowing you to turn turrets friendly. In the Quick Hacking Perks, make sure to select Bio Synergy, which allows you to regain gain RAM during combat over time, Blood Wear, which increases quick hack damage, Forget Me Not, returns one RAM if an enemy affected by a quick hack dies, Signal Support, increasing duration of quick hacks, and Optimization, which reduces the cost of all quick hacks by one RAM. Once you're leveled up enough, make sure to grab Master RAM Liberator, which increases memory regeneration speed by 50% to complete your build. For Cyberware, be sure to use an operating system that unlocks better hacking abilities, has better RAM management, and regeneration. Really, just focus on anything that increases your base RAM. You won't be using weapons for this build since you can take out enemies without firing a single bullet, but if you really want to run with a weapon, a silenced pistol is the best option. With every encounter, you'll want to start with Breach Protocol, which can lower the RAM cost for quick hacks, making you an extra deadly silent hacker assassin. Blade Based now here's a build that'll wake up your inner samurai. With your arm cannon and constant movement, you're nearly untouchable. Speed is extremely important for blade builds. For your attributes, you'll focus on reflexes and cool and offload points into body. In the body category for athletics, make sure to focus on stamina and health regen. Use the perks Dog of War, which increases health regen in combat by 30%, Regeneration, Marathoner, Epimorphosis, which lets you heal to full every time you leave combat. In the tab for Annihilation, utilize the perks Speed Demon, allowing you to deal more damage the faster you're moving, and momentum shift where defeating an enemy increases movement speed by 20% for 10 seconds. In the reflexes tab, go to blades and select the perks Flight of the Sparrow, reducing stamina cost of all attacks with blades by 50%, Roaring Waters, where strong attacks with blades deal more damage up to 50%, Judge, Jury, and Executioner, increasing damage with blades by 100% on enemies with max health. 
Unbroken Spirit, where successful counterattacks with blades restore 25% health and stamina. Blessed Blade, increasing crit chance with blades by 20%. And Fury Blast, increasing damage with blades by 3% for every 1% health an enemy is missing. Once you've gotten your reflexes leveled to 18, you should equip the perk Death Bolt, since it will jump you from one enemy to the other and instantly heal you for a significant amount and increase your movement speed for 5 seconds. In the cool perks, go to Stealth and select Crouching Tiger, increasing your movement speed while sneaking by 20%, Assassin, which helps you deal 15% more damage to humans, Strike from the Shadows, increasing crit chance by 25% when sneaking, and Hidden Dragon, which unlocks the ability to perform non-lethal aerial takedowns. In the next tab over, level up your stacks of Cold Blood perks. For Cyberware, equip the Mantis Blades for your arms, select Heal on Kill for a slot on the Frontal Cortex, use Second Heart for a circulatory system, which will resurrect you to full health when you drop to zero, and use Micro Vibration Generator for your skeleton. Recommended weapons for the Blade build are mostly Katana since they are extremely fast, but the Mantis Blades are also a very strong weapon. You can easily switch between the two during fights, so feel free to switch it up every once in a while. Those are the three strongest builds for Cyberpunk right now, but I personally really love the Netrunner build. What's your favorite build right now? Will you try any of these three builds from the video? Let me know in the comments below, and for more on Cyberpunk, keep it here at IGN. Fuck off.